When I had my son, my source of income was drug dealing. I was a drug dealer for 16 years on the reservation. I knew that I had to quit because I was either going to end up dead or I was going to go to prison. So I proposed to my wife to start selling burritos. Entrepreneurship has definitely changed my life from a drug dealer to a burrito man. I was teaching my students that's okay to start small, It'll lead to bigger things. I didn't know that they were going to love my burritos. So my burritos all of a sudden led to another business, which maybe some of you guys might know me by steaks. That led also to the biggest cooking job on the reservation. We have a vision for providing a program that is culturally congruent with Apache values and virtues about entrepreneurship. And if we can do it there, we can do it in South Africa, we can do it in rural China, we can do it in the outback of Australia. Posh, how you say it in Apache, you know, you, you kind of just massage it into place, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Kind of like this, so that this bowl will stand like that. I used to make power drums, moccasins, spears, tomahawks. There you go, there's your bowl, buddy. Arrowheads, necklaces, dream catchers. I used to make my living like that. We have a very high rate of unemployment. We also have a lot of um, drug and alcohol abuse, and our community suffers from, unfortunately, deaths by suicide. I live in one of the richest countries in the world, but where I live at, it's 75% unemployment and 75% of the people are living below the poverty level. What's wrong with this picture? We wanted to think outside the box of what programs could we bring to help support our youth and being able to bring enterprise back to our community. We have always been entrepreneurs. We have traveled where the food took us. And along the way, so some of our goods, tan hides, pottery, our arts and craft. Some of the businesses that the tribe owns and have been very successful in continuing to run our Sunrise Ski Resort, as well as our timber company. We do have some individuals who are already entrepreneurs. We have Tailgate. Several vendors will set up and they provide different types of food that they've prepared at their homes. One very exciting thing about this program is that the NIH has uh, supported its evaluation. And that support is based on the novelty of youth entrepreneurship being an in intervention that's gonna affect psychosocial outcomes. We're hoping that the youth who have participated in the entrepreneurship program would be able to then come and be a part of the businesses that the tribe owns. There's an idea to create a water bottling company out of Cowboy Springs that could be branded with the Apache seal and provide people awareness about the beauty and care for nature that is inherent in the Apache value system. There's an opportunity to revitalize Paradise Creek as a summer camp for youth, but also a retreat for business people from Phoenix or other areas in Arizona. One idea that is really feasible is the bead and camp dress making business. This is such a rare opportunity. First time we've brought together a leader in health, Johns Hopkins, a leader in finance, Barclays, with the poorest community in America with the least opportunities. It's the same as it was 30 years ago when children were dying 50 times higher rates from dehydration due to infections. Now children are dying from a lack of opportunity. If we can reverse their future in this community, we can do it anywhere. For many of our youth, yes, they've had to go off the reservation for education and then get an unemployment, but you always come home. You know, this is our home and... Sorry. It's important. Our youth are so important to us. And we just want to be able to help them. And giving them the encouragement, the support that they need.
Sometimes that's all they need is somebody to be there to encourage them to see their potential, to see their worth, and to tell them that 